It's time for the Jamie Hirsch OM Feet of the Night. Got goosebumps yet? Trust me, you do not want to miss this documentary. And again, you can keep an eye out for it right here on NHL Network. On Sunday, teams and fans from across the hockey world celebrated the NHL. Exactly. Not only praises team's effort, but also really praised John Gibson. And how could you not? He was excellent in this one. I know you're a huge fan of his. Why? Reason why. We know that he was out the last couple games. But what have you seen from him that's so different from last year when he really struggled? Getzlaff is back on the ice. Exactly. Not only praises team's effort, but also really praised John Gibson. And how could you not? He was excellent in this one. I know you're a huge fan of his. Why? It's time to give the goalies some love because we've seen some incredible play so far. We're just two weeks in, but it's never too early to start ranking. And I know how you love these things, nice. right? So this. This is the coolest thing that I've seen maybe all playoffs, right? We've got the black cat that the Sharks are known for as kind of their rally uh, mascot, if you will, throughout the playoffs. And this is a thing of beauty. It's obviously trying to be the Stanley Cup. And these are all pucks. I talked to the guy, Mark, who built this. They're all pucks that they've accumulated throughout the season. And then, of course, as you get higher, it gets more important game by game. The first round against the Kings, which I won in five. The second round, that seven-game series against the Predators, followed by the Blues beating the Blues in the Western Conference Finals and they're hoping to collect these pucks right over here eventually and uh, hopefully build the top layer of the Stanley Cup if they can come back and win it against the Pittsburgh Penguins. So all these little nuances that go into housing a Stanley Cup final for the very first time. So long ago in a land far, far away, the Canucks embarked on a quest to turn their season around. Their five-game road trip began in New Jersey where a strange creature greeted them in the visitors' dressing room. That's R2-D2 from Star Wars stopping by to say hello and perhaps to wish them luck on their journey. Focus they must on the task at hand as Jacob Markstrom would need his Jedi mind tricks to defeat the Devils against whom he is just 1-4 and four with a goals against average of 3.46. Watch highlights. We will are blue, sugar sweet, and revenge is too. It's gotta be awkward running into your ex on Valentine's Day, right? And that was exactly the case for Bruce Boudreau, who faced his former team on Tuesday with the Ducks in Minnesota. The good news for Boudreau is he seems much happier in his new relationship with the Wild, who are 7-1-1 one one in their last nine, and showing no sign of letting go of the top spot in the Western Conference. Plus, the Wild have already beaten the Ducks twice this season. So forget the roses. The best Valentine the Wild could give their new head coach was a season sleeper in the time for the annual teddy bear talk. The Erie Honors held this yearly event on Saturday when thousands of fans tossed countless teddy bears onto the ice. All of the fluffy friends would go to the Salvation Army because who doesn't love a good teddy bear? Thanks for joining us here on On the Fly We're presented by A little Chico. better. Oh, look at little, this. I got to give a shout-out. I like out. that hat. Got to give a quick shout-out. That out. is I'm nice. I'm going to in case you didn't know. And guess what? The Wild were on a long winning streak this season, too. The Blue Jackets ended it. Yeah. But this is a little crossover night at Target Field. The Twins and Wild are putting on Tuesday night. Thanks for the cap. It's pretty sweet. I like Baseball it. Baseball like hockey it. love. Very nice. Yeah, I like it. All right. You don't have a share. How about a couple of caps for us? I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs>